What's up, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In today's Valheim video, I've got a tip for you that should get you a couple extra FPS or maybe even a ton more depending on your system. Now, of course, this game was developed by an incredibly small team. It's still an indie game, so improvements will be made along the game's development. However, there was recently a new feature added called Vulcan, which you may know from other games. Usually, you'll get a couple more FPS switching to this or from this to something like DirectX 12. Of course, you may get better or worse FPS depending on your PC. Make sure you do your own benchmarks using Steam's built-in FPS overlay. It's super simple. But anyways, let's get on to it. First of all, I'll go ahead and fire up Valheim and I'll start playing just to get a baseline FPS. So to play Valheim with Vulcan support, simply just clicking play, you'll get a pop-up like this saying, would you like to play Valheim or play it using Vulcan? I of course will be doing a quick test using the normal default one and then Vulcan right afterwards. And if you don't see this pop up over here and you have a shortcut on your desktop or something like that to the actual game's files, I'll show you how to enable it there as well. So I'll be firing it up in the normal default renderer and see what kind of FPS we get there. As you can see, I've got my Steam FPS overlay, but I also have River Tuner running in the background, which should kick in in just a moment. There we go. Now that I've loaded into the world, let's do some running around and see what kind of FPS I'm getting. I'm currently running a benchmark and I'll leave it going for about 30 seconds. Of course, I don't have anything too fancy planned, but you should see a general improvement in FPS, not necessarily only when lots of things are going on. So that's exactly what we're testing for here. There we go. That's about 35 seconds. Let's go ahead and stop it right there. Now I'll quit out of the game. And this time when launching it up, I'll go ahead and select play using Vulkan. However, if you don't see this pop up over here and clicking play launches the game immediately, simply right click on Valheim in your Steam library, properties, and then under the general tab, look for launch options. Inside of here, we'll be adding hyphen force hyphen Vulkan as such. After closing this and playing the game in either of these modes, it should launch in Vulkan, though just to be sure, if you see this, select Vulkan here. Of course, if you have a shortcut on your desktop or something like that to the game's actual EXE, simply just right click properties and where it says the path of the actual program at the very end after the closing quotation marks, add hyphen force hyphen Vulkan as we did here with the launch options in Steam. Anyways, let's launch it up using a Vulkan and see what kind of FPS we get. All my settings should be exactly the same, which they are. And there we go. Now that we've loaded in and given it a second to load the world, I'll go ahead and start the same benchmark as before and we'll leave it going for 35 seconds or so as the previous one went on. Not much has changed. I've just reloaded into the world and ran over to that little hill over there. But anyways, let's get back to the benchmarking. There we go, I'll end it at about 40 and let's close out of the game and compare the results. So having a look at the results, we had a really nice improvement here. The FPS max went from 88 all the way up to 200. The average FPS went from 66 up to 69, nice. And the minimum went from 9 to about 17 FPS. Now, of course, there wasn't a huge improvement, but on some PCs, you'll expect more of an improvement than others. Yours may be much smaller or much bigger than the difference that I had here. The average FPS only went up by about three, but the maximum jumped up by a huge amount, which is nice. And the raised minimum FPS also means that you should get fewer frame drops into laggier sections of the map, especially while looking around at buildings, etc., etc. The more that's going on, usually the lower FPS you'll get. So it's always nice to have a bit of extra performance in the game. But anyways, besides that, that's about it that I have for this video. Should you try using Vulkan? Absolutely. Make sure that you have the Steam FPS overlay enabled so you can see if you're getting any kind of a positive difference or if you just so much as feel a positive difference, that's great. It's super easy to toggle on and toggle off if you experience any compatibility issues or anything like that. Thank you for watching. My name's been Technobi here for Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.